Well, this is on the east side of Loch Long, up in Scotland, near a place or a person called Glen Douglas, whoever he is. And, uh, yeah, this, if I was uh, back on my own stamping ground, I'd say this is lapsed coppice. And there's a fair old stretch of it, a mile or so, spotted on the way out to a, a dive site. And there's some nice looking old trees in here and a lot of uh, hazel. Not so much here, but a little bit up and around the corner. There's a lot of hazel and quite a lot of alder and the alder's multi-trunked. And all the hazel of course is multi-trunked. But hazel is hazel. And there's a track in here. A lot of places over the back there is uh, forestry. Um, just here doesn't seem to be so much conifer plantation and yeah what a hazel this one's a sallow and we've put this track in here we can just see if we can find any oak because there's a lot of oak further along in fact that way there's some in there look this hazel is old and gnarly these hazels here. So yeah, I would have said this was long lapsed coppice. I don't see why there shouldn't be coppice up here in Scotland. Because Loch Long, down that way, you've got the markets to Glasgow. And yeah, this is very steep, but it's fairly sheltered. And you could knock all the, the timber out, chuck it down the slope, load it onto a boat and take it down the market. You now you could sit up here working on your small stuff. Any of the myriad products that uh, you can get out of hazel coppice. And then take the finished product down the market. So yeah. This is rather nice. If you weren't here diving could come in here and uh, spend time looking, trying to work out what was going on or what is, has been going on. And if you come at the right time of year, wild strawberry, there's a little oak seedling. If you come at the right time of year, you would see, I'm sure of it, auction woodland indicators. And you see where the track goes. There was someone at some time, quite a long time ago, has put in a lot of effort to put that track in. And there's a few tracks as we go along. Anyway, that's a bit rambly. But I thought you'd just like to see this because it's rather interesting. And some of the hazel further back. sitting perched on top of rocks. So a little bit like this fern is. Bigger rocks, humic soil on the top and then some of these biggish hazels have been there a long time on the top of the rocks. And this looks like uh, red deer have been through here. Either that or someone's small cow has got lost. We've got a flat area here. You know. What's this all about? Seems to be a, a cut bank along here, all the way around. So they've been working timber here. Don't know, don't know enough about it. Not my stamping ground. But I thought it was nice just to stop and speculate. Another flat area here. And this hasn't been grazed land for a long, long time. Look at the size of this oak this oak here and a lot of hazel. Right, let's call it quits there. Off home for my tea. Got wood sold here. It's not flowering now. I think that's a stitch word. 
might be a cow wheat but my botany is not good enough to tell without the flowers and cow wheat is quite special because it can be again certainly in the southeast where I come from a very strong indicator of ancient woodland There's a bit more of the same over there and all these different mosses are rather groovy There's plenty of uh, people who post on YouTube who make the point about our remnant Atlantic rainforest and this could probably qualify as such because this has the feel to me of ancient woodland and it's certainly rainforest with all these mosses on the ground and if you look at all the lichens up on the tree I've seen some of the areas areas which are large leafy lichens. This again is uh, wood sorrel. And I'm gonna bet there's other ancient wood indicators all through here. Come at the right time again. No bluebells, because you'd see the remnant, but there will be other things. So yeah, quite nice. Right, I've got to get back to the van without breaking my neck. Have me proper boots on. But all I've got is these driving the van, so I was only going to stop for two minutes. Yeah, should be able to get up there. Yeah, rather nice. All right, we've just been over there, another 22 or 3 meters. So they're making gunpowder and they're smelting iron and it says here using charcoal densely forested hills and ready supplies of timber so they're using a little charcoal so it's not beyond the bounds of possibility that I have been seeing lapsed coppice I've been seeing a lot, we haven't pointed it out to you yet, of alder, which makes a nice, high quality, friable charcoal, which certainly around where I'm from was used for gunpowder making, because it could be easily and quickly divided very finely. And last thing, Japanese knotweed. Miles of the friggin' stuff. All the way along the shoreline. Although it doesn't seem to be in there. Coming on to rain, I'm going in the van. <laughs> 